uh, one of the common misconceptions out there for, for customers is that if it rains, we should get more water. But for us, that's not that's not the case. Eh? Yeah. Why uh, you would have heard us talk about turbidity? So turbidity is uh, when we refer to the quality of our water that we get to the treatment plant. Mm -hmm. Every now and then, when it floods, you would have seen the color of the river river change. Mm -hmm. It becomes really murky. So mm -hmm. that's basically what we mean by turbidity. Mm -hmm. the, the amount of suspended solids or the silt mm -hmm. or dirt mm -hmm. present in water has gone up. So that uh, makes treatment a challenge. Yeah. That, uh, we, we expend more chemicals yeah. to try and treat it. Mm -hmm. And we also, uh, with that volume of uh, level of dirt coming into the system, what actually happens is our treatment plant cannot filter all of that. Mm -hmm. So it causes clogs, so we have to backwash, and that in turn impacts the supply onto our mm -hmm. reservoirs, which causes low level. Yeah. So that's why we say when uh, when it's raining, just because it's raining, doesn't mean you want to get water supply. You're more likely to get intermittent supply or no water during the rainy weather mm -hmm. than you are when you have perfectly good, yeah. good condition. Yeah. As the reservoir level drops, lots of, uh, a lot of these customers, they do face this issue, uh, low pressure to no water supply. And sometimes it happens at really inconvenient times. It happens at night when people are asleep, you wake up, you have no water. Mm -hmm. And then it's raining. Mm -hmm. So then people say, well, why is it raining? Then we have no water. Mm -hmm. And it's just basically because we are hampered by our treatment capacity right now. But we have uh, projects that's in, in 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 progress that will address this issue. Um, also, an additional opportunity for us when we do this is we will be able to, as, uh, as you would remember, I, I said that we are also pumping from Tamago Water Treatment Plant to Nangatungatu, which covers the Sakova Tadiro Heights area. Once we get this in, we will be able to uh, procure bigger pumps. Bigger pumps means that we could push more flow in to maintain uh, supply to the, our customers up in the Sakoda area, Tadiro Heights, Tadirua, Nyumbalavu, Dokane Suva area. So that's basically the opportunity that uh, putting in the 20, uh, additional 20 megaliter uh, water treatment plant offers us. Eh? Um, an additional project we have at the moment, one of our major ones as well, is our generators. You would have heard, uh, you know, we would have put out in the, on, 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 in the media saying that Every time there's a power shutdown, water supply is affected. It's because uh, our current infrastructure does not have the backup. It has the backup genset. Well, right now we have hired standby genset, but what we're in the process of doing is procuring our own uh, standby genset that will be able to run these assets. Uh, as soon as EFL power goes off, it is an automatic transfer, so production is not impacted. So therefore, customer supply is not uh, impacted. What about 22 generators coming in towards the end of this year and uh, then we will uh, move into our installation program so that's another way of us uh, you know, uh, making sure that we sustain supply to customers in the greater Sovereign of